Tina for the same power rating, the prices shocked me. I mean, really shocked me. I almost fell off my chair. Hey guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel, making Africa home again, one family at a time. I was recently quoted 180,000 Ghana cities for a brand new 66 kVA generator here in Ghana. But when I requested quotes directly from China for the same power rating, the prices shocked me. I mean, really shocked me. I almost fell off my chair. Some were less than half the price that I was given in Ghana, delivered directly to Accra, including all the custom clearance, all the duties, including everything, guys, everything. So today, I'm breaking this down properly with real quotes, real risk, and real engineering considerations. Let's dive straight into it. So let's start with the Ghana quote. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share it on your screen. Um, so the Ghana quotation was for a, a 66 kVA Perkins generator. Okay, uh, Perkins Generator UK made brand. Okay, so very, very good quality brand. Absolutely secure, right? Uh, the price for, for in Ghana to pick up from the Accra, Accra shop was approximately 179,845 Ghana cities. Okay, which is approximately $16,269. Uh, $16,269. Now, you may see a, a figure that is slightly higher because this was actually for a client and they wanted it delivered to Kumasi. So there was an extra 5,000 Ghana cities on it. But I'm just dealing with the Accra price, the, the price for pickup in Accra only for now. So I can have a direct comparison with the, the Chinese quote. Now, this engine, this uh, engine was immediately available, purchased, purchased from a, a known local company. Okay, local, insula local installation and commissioning support all available. Uh, the, the price included, you know, all, all the usual taxes in Ghana, the VAT, the um, NH NHIL, which I believe is National Health Insurance Levy, uh, Get Fund, and, and I think even, even the COVID levy, <laughs> we're still paying COVID levy. All that is within the price, as you can see on your screen. Now, the reality engineering wise here is that you're not just paying for the metal and the engines here, but you're paying for the, 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 the stock holding uh, from the company, the taxes, the currency risk, the after sales infrastructure and peace of mind. Moving on swiftly to the, the China option or the Chinese option. So all quotes are DDP Accra. DDP means delivered duty paid. The price includes, includes uh, shipping, import duties, custom clearance, insurance, uh, and transport to the Accra warehouse. No hidden payments. Okay, guys, no hidden payments. Now, the price of the engine generator from China varies uh, from brand to brand. You can see on your screen right now, uh, again, for the same rating of generator, the most expensive was the Perkins, which is about $11,020. Okay, which is about a $5,000 saving from the Ghana one. Okay, then the next one down was Cummings, which is a US brand, $8,550. Down from that, Wei Chai, $6,450. Then Yu Chai, uh, $5,950. If you're Chinese and listen to me, forgive my pronunciation. <laughs> uh, then you got Stir, which is, a, which is a, an Austrian brand, $4,980. And then Ricardo, I think it's an Italian brand, not too sure, 4,830 US dollars, okay? So, while the Ghana one was immediately available at 16,000 pounds, 16,000 dollars, sorry, you have, we had all these brand options available in China for much cheaper prices, okay? Uh, but the one, one disadvantage is that the lead time is 10 weeks. So from the placement of order, from the placement of your deposit for the order, you have to wait, wait 10 weeks for it to get to Ghana, which means it requires proper planning uh, in relation to your, 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 your building. If you're building your house in Ghana, you need proper planning. So on paper, yes, you know, the China looks dramatically cheaper. Let's talk about the, um, the brand and the engineering differences. Okay. Um, there's something called standby generator rating and prime, uh, power rating. Okay. 
Now, some generators are designed for 24 seven prime power rating or continuous duty rating. Okay, whereas um, some, some are called standby ratings or emergency power ratings that are designed for shorter durations in the year. Okay, and have, if you like, less durable components. So for example, let's, let, let me give a quick definition. So a standby generator, which is also called an emergency generator, is designed to support your home when you have a mains power failure. Okay, the components are designed to give you between 200 and 500 hours per year of runtime. Whereas a prime rated generator can give you an unlimited number of hours of operation per year. It has la typically larger fuel tanks, uh, more heavy duty components. Uh, it can it can run 24 seven operation. Okay, so therefore typically a bit more expensive. All right, and it can also give you a 10% overload for every one hour in 12. Okay, so what that means is that, for example, if you had a if you had a, a, a generator prime rating and it says it's 60 kVA, it means it can deliver that 60 kVA of power for an unlimited number of hours in a year, no restrictions. And the quality of the components, the durability of the components will reflect that. But that 60 kVA can give you, can be 66 kVA. It can give you a 10% overload if you're, you know, if you're, you know, put on all your air conditioning or whatever, you give you a 10% overload for every one hour in 12, okay? That is a prime rating. And then you've got the standby rating. So these are some of the differences as well uh, to consider when you're buying a generator. Uh, another thing to, to, to look at is the fuel consumption. Okay, you can get a generator that is much cheaper in terms of the, uh, your capital expenditure. You can pay far less to buy the generator, but a cheaper generator typically, not all the time, typically will burn more diesel or petrol over three to five years. So whilst, you've, whilst you, you, your, your capital outlay is less, your operational cost over three to five years will likely be much higher the cheaper the generator. The more expensive the generator up front, the more efficient typically it will run for you. So these are some of the factors you need to consider also. Compare both items, compare your running cost and not just the initial purchase cost, okay? After sales reality, if your controller, think about this, if your controller fails at 2 a.m. in the morning in Ghana, who will answer the phone? Who comes to your aid? Another engineering uh, thing to consider, are the parts available for the brand of generator you are buying? Okay, Cummins and Weichai parts exist locally. Uh, others you may need to um, ship from China. So these are key questions that need to be asked before you decide what generator you want to buy and where you want to buy it from. All right, guys, there's some, there are some hidden costs <coughs> that people ignore as well, um, probably because they just, because they don't, maybe they don't know, um, and you need to consider this. This may be a little technical, but I won't go too, too, too deep. That's why we're here. You can always contact us. There's, you know, you need to consider the, the installation of the generator itself, okay? Uh, which is which is not part of the cost of the generator. Uh, consider what local warranty support you have, uh, the voltage regulation quality. Okay, consider the AVR stability, especially if you're going to be using electronics within your home. Now, a generator is not a fridge; it's an engineering system. It's not a commodity. So the summary of all of this is: seek technical review advice before you purchase. Okay. Now let me tell you another story, and I I, I think I've spoken about this before. If, and, a, and a previous brief generator video where I talked about the fact that sometimes you're buying a generator depending on where you're buying it from uh, and they've labeled it as 10 kVA but when you look at the electrical characteristics it's actually 5 kVA and I've seen examples of that as well so seek technical review seek technical advice before you purchase because if if it's labeled 10 kVA and it's actually 5 kVA then you know you've been had Okay, if you haven't watched that video, just click up here to remind yourself. Okay, guys, let's uh, do a quick summary of these two quotations to, for your benefit. I've got a table up on your screen and I want to compare a number of factors. And this is what you need to do in your decision, your final decision as to whether to purchase from, from, from Ghana or from China. These, this is what you need to consider. The first factor is what generator rating do you need? If you don't know, how, if you don't know what you need, contact us and we can help you depending on how big your house is and what is in your house. Okay. So what generator rating do you need? This table, 
This table is comparing a 66 kVA three-phase generator, which is a very large generator. This was being this was being purchased by a church, and they came to us for advice. So this is how we we supported them. Okay, um, Accra pickup. You've already talked about the cost comparison. You know, sixteen thousand dollars versus between four thousand eight hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Okay, price range. You know, you've got a single local price versus a range of prices from Ricardo being the cheapest to Perkins being the most, most expensive China upfront cost the Ghana one is very high uh, the Chinese brands are significantly lower the cheapest being up to 70% lower but remember cheapest doesn't mean the best or cheapest doesn't mean is, is the way to go you can go cheap but remember it is cheap, cheaper for a reason typically because it uh, it's it's efficiency it's running efficiency will most likely not be as good i.e you're going to spend much more money in, on your diesel cost uh, over the next three to five years the cheaper the engine okay um upfront cost we talked about that already uh lead time in ghana most likely immediately available in china uh you need to wait 10 weeks from your order so you need correct planning if you're going to go down the china route okay warranty the ghana ones i'm talking about brand new engines here typically two years uh the ones from china one to two years as well, uh, so or 1,000 hours of run time, depending on the brand. We, you need to check your warranty per brand. Some brands will give you a straight up two year warranty. Some brands will say it is a two year warranty or 1,000 hours of run time, depending on which one happens first. So note that as well, okay? Um, I would suggest if you're going to make a decision based on warranty, then my, my recommendation would be to, um, you know, look at the run hours because I mean, depending on the area of Ghana you live in or the area wherever the world you live in, you may not that you may not have that many power outages, right? But if you have loads and loads of power outages, then you can do an estimation basing your warranty on the run hours may be better than basing it on the the number of, of years. If you're in an area where you don't have many many um what's it called many outages, then basing it on the run times makes more sense because the warranty will then last longer all right um fuel consumption as i said already uh, look at the fuel consumption how many liters per hour does your engine burn very very key uh, the ghana one uh, the brands don't uh, don't always specify that information the the, 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 the sellers don't don't always specify that information hence seek technical advice if you take a, if you take a picture of the nameplate you can get that information online and make your decision um uh, the imports from China, you can get, you can ask them for that information and they'll give it to you for all the various brands. Continuous runtime um, depends on whether it's a standby or a prime rating. Okay, sometimes in Ghana it may be a bit unclear. Uh, the ones from China will tell you uh, 24 hour continuous runtime, etc. etc. Look at the data, seek technical advice. After sales support in Ghana, yes, you'd have local technicians that you have access to. Uh, you can find people who are, who are very good at repairing and maintaining generators. Um, uh, obviously, uh, I know Cummings and Wage, I do have local Ghana support as well. Um, what else? Spare parts available, availability. Check that as well. Uh, you know, there are some good local, local spare parts available in Ghana, uh, depending on the brand as well. The, 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 you check the brands that you're buying from Ghana. Check if there are parts available in Ghana, the brands you're bringing from China. Okay, import and duties and shipping of shipping. Obviously, if you're buying it from Ghana, not applicable. If you're getting getting it from China, make sure the shipping, the duties, the custom clearance, everything is included. DDP, because it can be a significant cost. Risk profile that is sub subject to you as the client. Buying in Ghana, lower risk, higher cost. Buying from China, importing from China, higher planning risk, but a major cost saving. Higher planning risk, but a major cost saving. Okay, uh, buying locally is probably best for urgent projects. Importing from China is best for people who are who are cost optimized and who are very very well planned in the in in the building of their home, or in the need for when exactly they need the generator. In summary, you pay for convenience in Ghana, you pay for planning in China. Are you looking to build your dream home in Ghana or are you building already? Would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports? 
Well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher & Gag Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. We also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs, details on the screen, Asher & Gag Consultancy, make in Africa home again, one family at a time. So what's the final verdict? If you want instant power, zero stress and local accountability, then purchasing your generator in Ghana is safe. However, if you are cost driven, patient and technically informed, China can save you a serious amount of money. I've been working with a Chinese supplier who has serviced quite a few of our clients very well. Good quality uh, engines. So if you need a good recommendation, reach out to Asher and Gad, as you know already, uh, plus 233-050-625-1602. In my next video, I will break down which Chinese generator brands are actually worth buying and which ones I would avoid completely. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this brief video. Okay, as usual, like, share, subscribe, and hype the video. From Gaddis Chemistia, and from me, guys, Yebeshia. See you next time.